Hey guys, what's up? You're watching The Tech of Today, and my name is Austin, and today I just wanted to help you guys out with the question that um, a lot of people have been asking, you know, not just to me, but everywhere, all over the internet, and that is, is the iPhone 5 worth it? And really what the iPhone 5 brings is this great new design. I really enjoy it. It looks sleek, and it's just, I mean, it's really not that new if you think about it but it looks really nice you know the taller screen the aluminum back and then like the two different colors on the back how it's shiny on the tops and then um, in the middle it's like matte and with the headphone jack in the bottom and with the new lightning connector you know it just brings a lot of new things to the table and I think a lot of people that's luring a lot of people in but that's about it for the iPhone 5, you know. It comes with iOS 6, and that packs a lot of punch in it. And that's why a lot of people are going to get it. But you can get iOS 6 on your iPhone 4S, and I believe on your iPhone 4. So you could, um, you know, just up, um, update your um, current iPhone and get that, and you're all set, you know, with iOS 6. You know, you won't have as good a camera or the A5 processor chip or LTE, but, you know, you could deal without those things. You know, that just adds speed, makes it a little bit faster, which is a great uh, thing to have in this, in a new phone, you know, in, 20, in this year 2012, but it's not necessary, you know. Of course you want that. I'm not saying that it wasn't um, the right choice for Apple to add LTE and a better camera and um, new things like that, but... Um, you, you don't need it. You can continue with your current iPhone and um, do just as well with iOS 6 because that brings a lot to the table. And iOS 6, they did a, they did a pretty good job with um, changing things up. You know, the design looks a little bit different, but they didn't do a great job. But if you're into Apple, iOS 6 is better than iOS 5, and that's what matters. Now, if you're wondering, if you're on Android and you're wondering about switching to iPhone 5 or if you're on a different operating system, well, it's kind of up to you because that's how you feel about it, you know, because you can't get iOS 6 on your current phone. And it's a great phone, you know. It brings a lot of things that um, the iPhone 4S didn't have, and it's a really cool phone. But, I don't know, it's up to you. You know, go compare the stats on the different types of phones and stuff. I do have my iPhone 5 um, full features video, and I'll put a annotation on screen right up there. You can go click on that and go look at the features of the iPhone 5 and all the description of it. I also have an iOS 6 video, so you can see what iOS 6 is updating and bringing, and I'll put that up there. So you can go watch those videos, you know, think about what you want to do if you have an iPhone and you're thinking about buying a new iPhone, the new iPhone 5 or just updating to iOS 6 and if you have, if you're on an Android or Blackberry and you want to update to or um, upgrade to an iPhone, you know if you're really interested about it it's a great time to upgrade because it's a great phone but you could also go with the, you could actually go buy the iPhone 4S and then um, or, or the iPhone 4, do they still sell that? I believe they do um, and then just update to iOS 6. You could also do that for new people to the iPhone and iOS. So that's about it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. So remember, it's just my opinion about this. Um, it's your choice, you know, if you want to do this and get the new iPhone. But that is it, guys. So thanks.